Hello everybody, it's Seth. Um, I realize that in some of the other things I've been telling you that I've been, you know, sort of talking in a way that, 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 that says there's some sort of problem with, with people and I recognize that and, and I don't, I don't really think there's a problem with people. I think that there just needs to be a little bit of a mind shift, a mind change. Uh, where we think more about being responsible for our roles in the world and in our environment. Um, but by and large, I think that actually a lot of people are pretty hard on themselves already. And they're hard on themselves actually about things that, you know, in the whole grand scheme of thing, don't really, aren't going to really matter. Um, I think that the fact that people, Americans in particular, have so much stress is something that adds to the fact that people feel so at a loss for how to solve the problems of the world that we have today. It's just people are tired. They're, they're pulled at all ends and they just, they don't know what to do about it or they don't have any good resources for handling their stress. and. You know, a lot of people aren't really familiar with, you know, a lot of relaxation techniques and things like that. And so I just wanted to take a moment to tell everybody that when you start your day and you're on your commute and you're on your way to the office to work, and sometimes there's a tendency at that point to think a little bit about your work and Oftentimes you'll make a mountain out of a molehill about something that maybe your supervisor said to you or something a coworker might have done. And you know, these things aren't gonna matter. You're not gonna remember them in 10 years, you know. What matters is your family and your friends. And as long as you're doing the best that you can, as long as you're putting in enough energy at your job, you know, you can't really concern yourself or worry too much about about how things are going you know on the minutia level at your work I'd also like to tell people that maybe you know you should consider when you're on your way to work doing some breathing exercises the breath is really what controls your sort of internal state um, it's what pumps oxygen into your body and it gets you really going. And uh, if you breathe, if you do a simple eight count breath or something like that, you'll really, um, you'll really be able to sort of regulate yourself back to a place where you feel more calm and at ease. Another thing you can try and do when you are at work or you're dealing with a stressful situation is to try and sort of move outside yourself at that point sort of look at yourself like you're on a little cloud and you're looking at yourself this human you know sure you've got your problems and you know things you've got to solve but you know there's no problem taking a time out you know and sitting on a little cloud and looking down at yourself and thinking hey you know i you know it's not perfect but i don't need to be getting this upset about this situation and uh, this is called developing a witness consciousness, and it's something that sages and yogis have been doing for a long time, and there's no reason why everybody can't do it, because it sure is helpful for getting a perspective on what's going on in your own life. Another thing that contributes to stress is how you eat. You might want to consider taking caffeine out of your diet, or you might want to consider quitting smoking or quitting drinking. A lot of times alcoholics, they'll drink because they get, they get so stressed out in situations where they feel like they have to perform socially. And the, but the ironic thing is that the more you drink, the more likely you're going to get stressed out when you're not drinking, and then the more likely you're going to have to drink in order to not feel stressed out. So it's a vicious cycle. and. You know, the best way to solve it is to just eat better and not drink so much. Another thing that can also help is exercise. Any kind of exercise can help you with stress, can get your body moving, get your mind going and, and your heart pumping and, you know, get those endorphins going and lift your mood, lift the way you feel. 
I, I use yoga and I use meditation techniques and these work for me, but I think that other things, you know, like uh, Tai Bo or running or, you know, even something like soccer can help people uh, feel a lot better. So it's important that as we grow as humans and as we develop ourselves, uh, that we don't get too stressed out, that we maintain our balance and we we take it easy on ourselves, you know, enough so that we don't we don't you know burn our candles at both ends and feel a lot worse than we have to. Because the truth is, is that we're all beautiful people with a lot to offer each other and to share. And there's no reason for us to get so stressed out. Namaste.